welcome back to the Nina Farms. If you're new here, I'm Nina, and I'm so glad that you have joined us today. I am a homesteading, homeschooling mom of four. Here on my channel, we talk all about homemaking, homesteading, and homeschooling. Today's video is going to be a flip through of our brand new language arts curriculum. If you watch our homeschool update from our ter first term, then you know that we struggled with language arts in our first term and that we changed language arts curriculums. And we are about halfway through our second term and our curriculum just came in this weekend. So I wanted to give you guys a quick flip through of that. So we chose Lessons of a Living Education by Master Books. This is level three. It does come with an additional resource of 101 favorite stories from the Bible. And that's for my third grader. And then for my second grader, I chose level two. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick flip through of these two curriculums. Let's start with Lessons of a Living Education level two. So they don't do grades, but I think it would kind of match up with what second grade should be. So you have your scope and sequence here on the first page of everything that this level covers. You have a little bit about the course and how to use it and the description, a note from the author and about this course. And it tells you how the course is laid out. Uh, on the first day, you either have a picture study or a poem or a story. And then the second and the third day, you work on writing topics such as grammar and punctuation. And then on the fourth day, you create a story, poem, or psalm. And on the fifth day, the student focuses on spelling and vocabulary and building their dictionary skills. So we have teaching helps. You don't have an additional teacher's manual. Everything that you need for the course is in one book. This tells you how to teach the course, it has independent reading, handwriting, oral narration, memorization, telling your own story, spelling, and vocabulary, creating your own dictionary, games, reviews, and then there's teaching aid and assessments in the back. You have your daily schedules. If you are a um, list checker, then this is for you. It has due dates, checking it off, and the grade that you would, the kid would receive for that particular assignment. This uh, curriculum is laid out for 180 days or 36 weeks. All right, so this is the first lesson of um, that is in here. So you have a story. The highlighted portions are what the student would read. And then uh, you would read everything else. You answer some questions. It has teacher's notes there. And then this is what they would com complete for the first day. And then this is day two. Front and back. And then you have day three. And then on day four is where they tell their story. They draw a picture. And then they write a sentence or two about it using the correct capitalization and punctuation that they learned in the previous lessons. Day five is where they would practice their spelling words and vocabulary. Um, and you could have them take a test if you want. I think the way that I'm going to use this is there are spelling words, a uh, spelling word list in the back is I'm going to give them their spelling words on day one. And then we're going to do like write the words five times, five times each, look them up in the dictionary, uh, write a sentence, that type of thing, just to kind of so they can practice their spelling words throughout the week instead of getting them on Friday and only looking at them once during the week. Um, so then, then week two would be your picture study, and it's laid out the same exact way. And then on week three, you're back to your story again. So that continues through the book and... The spelling words get harder as you go. The story, they start to read more in the story. Um, just kind of flipping through and showing you what each, some lessons look like. And like I said earlier, in the back is where your teaching aids are and like your what would be a teacher manual. Um, you could take this out of the book if you wanted to, or you can just leave it in here. 
Um, so some things that are in here are assessment charts and reviews, independent reading list, recommended book list for reading practice, um, the pages that you would use to use to create your own dictionary, activities and games, spelling, spelling um, practice. And then for the student, you have your uh, spelling list that I was talking about, sight words, alphabet practice, copy work, days of the week practice, month practice, number practice, contraction practice, title practice, calendar study sheets, grammar sheets, and then you have the answer key to all the sheets in the back as well as re the review answers. So just to flip through that, like I said, here's the assessment charts to keep up with the grades. Here are um, some reviews if you wanted to use those. Um, and it tells you up here when to use it. Here's the independent reading list that you could keep track of what your kids has read. Here's some rec recommended book for early reading. And then here's the pages that you would use for creating your own dictionary. And then here are some games that you could play to help reiterate some of the skills that they are learning. Um, and then it goes into spelling practice, how they can, games that they can play to do spelling practice, uh, creating your own spelling list. And then here are the spelling words and it's laid out by lesson by week. Here are some sight words that would be helpful to memorize and to master. Here's the alphabet practice. And then here is the copy work practice for um, like different language arts skills. the days of the week and the months of the year and the abbreviations, number practice and the spelling of all the numbers, different titles such as Mr., Miss, Dr., Reverend, and then study sheets in here to just go back and reference if your student would need to do that. And then in the back are the answer keys. And these programs encompass picture study, memorization, grammar, punctuation, spelling, vocabulary, observation, poems, psalms, letters, application through creating their own stories and pictures from sentences. So now let's look at level three. It's laid out pretty much the same exact way as level two. So lesson one, like I said, it's laid out just like uh, level two. You have the story. The highlighted portions are what your child will read to you and you will read the rest. They have narration questions here. Um, teacher, all the teacher notes are here with the little apple beside it. And then this is what they would complete for day one. Day two is practicing the alphabet and writing lowercase and uppercase letters and some more practice here capitalization, punctuation. Here they are is when this book comes into play, which is the um, additional resource. So on day four, they will read, or y'all can, you can read it together, um, page 10 and 11. So you would read the little story and then it says to answer the questions on page 11, which are here. And then it says also to copy the verse that is on page 11 so they will use that as their copy work and then it says copy the picture on page 11 so they will, can try to draw the entire picture here or one or two things from the picture and then copy the caption which would be here so that's kind of bringing in some handwriting and, co and copy work and we'll look more into this book in a little bit um, and then again just like at level two the spelling words are on day five and their vocabulary and Again, we have picture study, then they go back to the story, some more stories, more picture study, and as we get a little further along, more detailed, you can tell the spelling words are starting to get a little harder, working on more um, sentence structure here, more pair how to um, form paragraphs and write those, the difference between two, two, and two.
And then again, we come to the teacher aids in the back. Level, it gives you a blank spelling list on uh, week nine and then week 18 so that you can add in your own words or if they needed extra practice on certain words, you could add those in. So this is the book that comes along with level three. As I told you earlier of how you would use it, I'm just gonna flip through and show you some of the um, stories that are in here and the pictures. I love how this level brings in the element of the Bible and so that the kids are learning the Bible along with learning the language skills and lessons that they need to learn in order to read and write. I love how this encompasses everything as well. So that's just a quick look into language lessons of a living education level two and level three. Um, I'm excited to start this with our kids. We actually started using level two last year and last year was just a very busy year and I just didn't have time to kind of like relearn a new curriculum. So we ended up falling back on something we had already had that was given to us from a friend. And I almost chose this um, over the summer when I was looking for new curriculum and I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't actually go with it. Um, so we're gonna give this a try and really give it a try this year. And I will report back how things are going and my full review on it as we get into it. Um, maybe do that around Christmas or so. So like I said, some of my favorite things about this curriculum is that it's all encompassing. We don't have to pull extra things from um, like spelling and vocabulary in from everywhere else. And it's all in one book and it's easy to use and it's grab and go. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and would love to stick around, why don't you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell notifications, and we would love for, to visit with you soon again in another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.